Well, there's a dark warning ahead of tomorrow's Black Friday. For one thing, some online offerings in the name of the mega sale are nothing more than a scam. And even shop deals may not be the bargain they appear to be. The practice known as deceptive discounting is already twice as common as it was four years ago. Adam Hollingworth has the details. We all love a bargain and we all hate losing out. So when you combine FOMO with financial hardship, it can blind you to reality. The fake sales, they call them, we roller coaster up. As soon as November hits, we crash it down. Shops can easily sneak up prices over time, then slap them down in a day. So tech expert Tim Provice says don't simply assume you've snagged something half price. It can be a little bit, but not much. Price comparison website PriceSpy says last year 15% of sales were fake sales, up from 7% in 2019, and the trend's going one way. So it is becoming a, a thing, a strategy, as they say. Add to the fake sales the downright scams. The banking associations release advice for online shoppers telling us to go with trusted retailers. Make sure the website address is legit. Check the payment method. Beware especially of gift cards and cryptocurrency. Cyber criminals know they're difficult to trace. And the old adage, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Then there's the shopping experience itself. You won't be the only one zeroing in on a bargain. This Auckland mall had a three-hour wait just to get out last weekend, so Auckland Transport will be pulling out the stops from tomorrow. We'll be monitoring those shopping centres and the roads around them to make sure that we're optimising that flow as much as practical. They're urging shoppers to take public transport, unless, of course, they're after a fridge or a sofa. If you're worried about the traffic tomorrow, the good news is that, as opposed to last weekend, the weather is going to be good. So that might be just enough to persuade some of us to go to the beach instead of the mall. Westfield Newmarket says it too will have staff on hand to manage the flow. And if the worst happens, they'll be providing water and food for customers in their vehicles or coffee vouchers to those who choose to re-enter the centre. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.